Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple gift cards to your friends and family this holiday season. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Buzz Show. And in today's episode, so people still to this day, you know, question or not so much question but always want like an answer when it comes to the hate and stuff you know like everybody and i think that you know this year definitely um or not even this year like right now like i'm going to make sure that this is the last time i ever have to tell this story this is the last time i ever have to like up until a day where if it's like if i have to like answer for myself or if i reach this point in time and situation where you know some important people uh want but even then i'm like you know listen to this podcast episode but i'm not gonna keep doing videos and all this other extra crap you know talking about it and things but more so the reason why me and the people that I had beef with, how, like, we can never, like, coexist, you know, how, like, we can never, like, come together and stuff and do, and my thing is this, like, if it's always gonna be a disrespectful conversation coming from them, then, yeah, overall, like, it's, you know, it, it's, n- there's nothing that's ever gonna happen between us, where it's, like, you know, we come together, we make videos, or stream, or a podcast episode, or whatever they want to do, whatever they want to call it, but I'm like, I'm not going to be disrespected, and then at the end of the day, just, you know, just be like, okay with that, like, I'm not with that, I'm not with that at all, and if it's an issue on, you know, oh, well, I should be allowed to say whatever, I should be allowed to do, that's my sense of humor, that's what I want to do, I don't care, I do not care, people always want to, and I feel like that's like one of the things that they try to do is put their mindset first and forget like everything that I'm thinking about that's on my mind like what they say only matters what I say don't matter and I can't be cool with people like that I can't have like an intellectual conversation with people like that because they're always going to make it seem like that everything you say is wrong they're going to come up with an argument they're going to come up with you know like it's conversations like that where I'm like I don't see too highly of this conversation So why should I be involved in the first place? You know, like that's where it's like the whole situation where they're saying that I need to take a certain individual's um, advice for what? Why? Why do I need to take his advice? And then that's a lot of times like people just seem to forget is that when he came at me talking about this advice and talking about this help, he's being disrespectful the whole time. Now, Let it be the other way around. Do you think he would have accepted any form of help or advice or whatever it is from me and I'm being disrespectful towards him? I'm saying like, come on now. You know, like, let's say if I if I came up out the woodworks and was all like, nah, let's work together. Let's work on a video. Let's make a gaming video. You know, let's just do something uh, random. He's going to say no. He ain't going to trust this situation because he knows something's going to be up. He's smarter than that. He is smarter than that. I know he is. So that's why I'm like, I know for a fact that other way around, still would have been the same story. Still would have been the same situation. So that's why I'm like, I'm not hearing it where people are like, oh, well, they, like, you know, trying to come up with everything possible to like try to like convince me otherwise that, you know, things can work out. Things that only work out is if I listen to him. That's not going to happen. It is never going to be a point in time where I stop doing what I like doing just so I can satisfy his content creating needs. No, that's not being a content creator. That's not even being like who you are as a person. Going your whole life listening to people? No, I'm not doing that. So yeah, overall, I'm like, I'm not going to, you know, be involved in people like that and things, but that was just, you know, one of the things. And then another thing is like nitpicking. You know, like if I don't edit my video 
or if I say like too many times um, when I'm talking or or what are some other things have they, you know, talked on. But it's, you know, like the, the nitpicking stuff, you know, like, oh, you talk on the situation too. I have no choice but to talk on the situation where I'm sitting there being constantly attacked over it. <laughs> like, that's the thing that they just, you know, they don't understand. They always want to just hear things from their perspective. Like, in their eyes, everything is okay with them. But at the end of the day, they don't realize, like, you are terrorizing people. Like, the the videos, like, the stuff that y'all are promoting, that's terrorizing people. They don't understand that, you know? But, yeah, like I was saying, like, the nitpicking. You know, that was like, but that was, like, one of the things I always had uh, paid attention to and noticed on how many times they would call me out for saying, like. Like, if I'm talking right now, like, they just, they get mad over that type of stuff just because i'm saying the word like acting like there ain't millions of people across the world talking saying talking just like how i'm talking i'm saying it could be 10 times worse i could be talking like one of those like pothead rappers that be in interviews i could be talking like i have no clue like one of them dumb blondes that also be in interviews i'm talking like myself this is the environment that i was raised in this is how everybody around me, from family to friends to teachers to co-workers, this is how everybody talks. And then it's funny, like the one, I bet money, there's at least one person within that whole fan base that talks just like me. A lot of times, like, I was getting comments, I wasn't getting, seeing videos all the time from these guys. Guaranteed, I promise you, there is at least one person within this fan base uh, that talks just like me. So that's why I'm like, fam, like, when... People, they try to, like, nitpick at stuff like that. Oh, you say like too much or you do this too. I'm like, fam, I'm, I'm not hearing that. I'm, I'm not hearing that. You know, like, that's how I talk. I'm not going to change how I talk because you don't like it. I'm saying, then that's, you know, that's another thing. It's like, it don't matter what I do or how I do it. They don't like it. My thing is this, and I've said this times before, you know, and they, they want to turn it into an argument. I'm like, this ain't up for an argument or a discussion, or a debate, or it's not an invalid argument, it's common sense when you don't like something, don't watch it, plain and simple, I'm saying, like, I don't like the videos that get made on me, you don't see me sitting down watching every single one of them, there's like a good, there's probably a good, like, maybe half, not even probably, like, half, but, or no, there's, so there's probably a good half that I started and hadn't finished because I'm like, it's cringy watching videos about me and it's a person that don't like me. You know, like at the end of the day, this is their perspective of what they had to deal with on YouTube. They, it's not like people that I had to work with, you know, people that I went to school with, like people that actually know me. I'm not going to sit down and watch a video on some people that know internet me. You know internet me. You don't actually know me. So that's what it's like. That's why I always just, that's why I think that the videos that get made about me, if anything is going to be invalid, it's the videos that get made about me. You're talking on a person that is the internet personality, but you don't know who this person is behind doors. I don't know who you guys are behind doors. I'm only talking on internet you, but I have a, uh, I just have a strange feeling like who you are on the internet because I've went to school with people like this. You know, like, they, they talk a big game on the internet, but as soon as y'all, like, get, like, you know, like, outside into the public world, like, yeah, you still got, like, that cringy personality and stuff, but it's, like, a little bit more quiet. You know, like, you're not, like, going, like, the way that you talk to a person, you ain't gonna go up to a black person and call them the N-word. You may think it, okay? You may say something disrespectful, but it won't be along those lines. You probably won't even say anything disrespectful. I guarantee, I promise you, anybody within this fan base, right, from the head leader all the way down to, the like, the least known person in this uh, community, right, Guaranteed, I promise you, they have not had one racist interaction with somebody outside of YouTube. Oh yeah, they'll talk on, they'll talk that big game because it's it's they're scared. They're scared. They know for a fact that they would get you know probably beaten within an inch of their life. You know, and then it's like the medical bills and all that other extra stuff that you gotta be paying attention to. That they that that that's too much. You know, that's too much. And I'm like, and it's you know they're smart, but at the same time, I just think that that's ignorant. You know, you get that mad at somebody. But I'm like, at the end of the day, I can't stop somebody from being racist. I'm like, racism has been going on, like, before my parents is born. 
So at the end of the day, I'm like, I can't, you know, there's nothing that I can say or do about it. You know, at the end of the day, I just got to deal with it. I thought I heard like a car or some weird noise outside. I always be hearing like weird noises outside and stuff. But anyways, um, but yeah, like, you know, at the end of the day, look. I'm a content creator, okay? I am my own content creator. I'm not the content creator that you want me to be. I'm the content creator that I signed up to be. So if I'm having issues, problems, if my videos aren't good, if my music ain't good, my streams, my podcast episodes, if all of the content that I am posting on YouTube is not good, you are, you guys wouldn't have seen it. I My thing is this, all right? And as the time prog- like progresses and goes on, my content will get better. I will make my content better. But it will be better on my own terms. It will be better in my own way. Not in the way that you want to see it. In my way. If you guys want to see a certain video done or get created, make it yourself. Like, I don't get why. That was like another thing that I never understood. It's like, you guys want these videos, yet you don't post them. Like, you're trying to, like, sell a product, but without the product being there. You know, like, it, it, it's, like, how do I know, like, why would I give feed into you guys or give you guys time, money, or whatever it is, you know? And I'm like, what am I getting in return, you know? Like, I'm, I'm getting nothing when you sit down and think about it, but, no, think about it. You're telling me my videos uh, need to be better, you know? In a way, they're saying my videos need to be better, what videos do you have on your because a lot of times when people would say that it'll always be somebody like copying it or saying it repeating from a video or whatever and things but and that was a lot of times like when i would ask them i'm like well where's your videos at where's your proof to show me that if i edit a reaction video it's gonna do better you know because my thing is this a person won't know unless they click on that video they ain't gonna know that that videos um you know has like edits to it and stuff unless they watch it if they like, but at the end of the day, I'm like, I've seen videos that had no editing, that required no editing, hundreds of thousands of views, millions of views. You mean to tell me my thing is this, you sit down and talk about my, you know, reaction videos where I'm like, at the end of the day, what are, what are my reaction videos? How can I describe my reaction videos for somebody that, you know, hasn't watched them yet? My reaction videos is me being me. Now, some people may see that as an issue, but at the end of the day, my reaction videos are me being me. So it's me sharing my personality to the world. I'm not being rude. I'm not being disrespectful when I'm doing a reaction video. I'm shouting out whoever I'm reacting to. I'm not going to go out my way, excuse me, and react to some uh, content or a video from a content creator. And I got problems with them content creators. I've done that before, and it's like videos like that, just I don't like making. I don't like making videos where it's about somebody that's, you know, that clearly there's an issue with them and stuff. You know, I don't like that. I like reacting to content creators that I'm cool with, content creators that I know about. You know, so for an example, um, uh, the goons. You know, when I react to them, I'm laughing. I'm cracking jokes along with them. They're cracking jokes in their videos. So all together, it's a funny video. I shout them out at the uh, end of the video, at the beginning and at the end of the video. So I'm saying at the end of the day, I'm like, I react, I'll react to content like that. Or if it's videos like from friends of mine, I react to their content. And I'm like, bro, this is good. This is fun. I like this. I enjoy this. This is what I want. But then you got these guys on the other hand, that's all like, nope, bad content. Don't like it. Okay, who cares? At the end of the day, am I supposed to care? You're not a subscriber. You're not a fan. You're not a supporter. You know, you don't watch all my videos. You don't like support all my channels. You don't support nothing that I do. So at the end of the day, you not supporting me, but I'm supposed to listen to you. You're not a fan, but I'm supposed to listen to you. You're not like, you know, helping like promoting my channel shouting me out all this other stuff to help my channel grow but i'm supposed to listen to you does that make any sense and that's like one thing that i always like sit down and think about because i you know that's like one video or a channel that i watch i've been watching a lot lately is uh gordon ramsay so i'm gonna place this in like gordon ramsay's perspective right because let's say it was a situation where i went to you guys and had asked for help I asked for your advice. I asked for your guidance. 
then you guys can give me that tough love. But, and now, you know, getting back into Gordon Ramsay's, like, perspective, his universe, that's like Gordon Ramsay going inside of a restaurant that, you know, there are people love this restaurant they don't have no problems with the food they don't have no problems with the quality they don't have no problems with nothing in there but gordon ramsay is going in there and he's just being mad disrespectful he he's being disrespectful to the owners the cooks the chefs the customers being disrespectful to everybody in there and nobody asked for that so at the end so i'm saying like what that's what like and you know then and i know people probably will reference his tv show kitchen nightmares and stuff gordon then people invite him to that um to their restaurant i didn't invite nobody to my restaurant (laughs) i was chilling you guys came up out of nowhere you got mad because all right you know putting this back um more into restaurant because i had a a certain food on the item that uh individual don't like it, that's like that ain't no different than like people that are vegans and then they go into the like a uh, 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 meat selling restaurant and stuff and then they go in there are like oh you guys sell meat your dishes are you're you're hurting the animals you're doing this this and this I'm like fam don't eat meat like there's a, there's gonna be others that's gonna continue eating meat you don't necessarily have to eat meat so but it's like going into a restaurant and being cringy for whatever reason I'm like does that make any sense like come on now so. Yeah, but that's why I'm like, I'm I'm just, I'm not hearing it at the end of the day. People can say whatever and do whatever. I'm still going to do my thing, all right? So at the end of the day, these guys can make up lies about me, rumors about me, stories about me. They can do whatever they want to do. They can say whatever they want to say. You know, they want to join my stream and try to get some video out of me. None of that stuff is going to matter because at the end of the day, I'm still going to do my reaction videos. I'm still going to do videos on my other channel podcast episodes streams whatever you name it all right so anyways and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening if you're viewing this on youtube like subscribe and if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up make sure you subscribe to all my 39 youtube channels follow me on twitter tiktok twitch and instagram at tmosboss and make sure you follow my facebook page at tmosboss fan page also if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code tmosboss it will knock 20 dollars off your first purchase and make sure you use my supporter credit code uh for epic games tmosboss and in the meantime i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace